it's time to close the border to new immigration. Supervisor Desmond made this proclamation because of a leaked memo from Customs and Border Protection. The memo says border agents could encounter foreign fighters at the southern border. But CBP would not confirm the authenticity of the memo or even comment on it. In fact, border officials say that there is no indication of Hamas terrorists trying to enter the country illegally. This is not just uh, alarmist politicians here. But experts who study the Middle East say alarmist is exactly what Desmond and other Republican politicians are. Michael Province is a professor of Middle Eastern history at UC San Diego. He has spent decades studying the region and has written several books. It's not based on any kind of um, even basic uh, knowledge of the facts of the situation. If a person in Gaza wanted to get to the southern border, uh, there's no U.S. consulate. They couldn't get out of Gaza. It's completely ringed in by the Israelis. So it would be physically impossible. Province says a questionable leaked memo is not sufficient evidence for this level of concern. We didn't hear it from the FBI. We didn't hear it from the uh, presidential administration. Uh, we didn't hear it from uh, the State Department. We heard it from a handful of, of mostly conservative uh, local political officials who have no knowledge of the Middle East. Uh, or of of, uh, of the political situation in in, uh, in in Israel and Palestine. It seems to me really irresponsible. And you know, um, it's I think the, the 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 news organizations that are picking up these stories, you know, I mean, just because they say it doesn't mean it's true or we should pay any attention to it. El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells, congressional candidate Margarita Wilkerson, and County Board of Supervisors candidate Amy Reichardt joined Desmond's calls for a border shutdown. KPBS asked Desmond about province's criticisms. Desmond dismissed them as a difference of opinion. They call it ridiculous. There's many opinions out there. I want to protect the United States and the United States. By experts border. who have been studying this for 20 years. That's fine. I want to make sure no terrorists enter our country. Previous border closures have devastated the local economy, particularly in San Isidro. Gustavo Solis, KPBS News.